<laughs> you gotta be authentic. Be you. Do great things for yourself and for others. Hey, so what's up, family? It's late at night and I'm on here. Um, mostly because, you know, y'all family and I talk to y'all about what's going on here with me lately. And the frustration is real today, y'all. Um, I am typically the one that's kind of like strong and keeps it all together, tries to maintain a positive attitude um, through everything. But today is a day where I'm just a little bit frustrated, hurting a little bit. Um, first of all, today is a blessing because today is my grandmother's 85th birthday, who I'm beyond blessed to have in my life. 85, um, to be able to have two moms in my life, simply amazing. It's nothing that I can, um, say or anything to try to tarnish or take away from the great day she was supposed to have today but um for me the day kind of went sour um work was cool I after work um we were supposed to meet family was supposed to get together like we normally do and have birthday cake and food or whatever and celebrate her birthday and the ironic part is that even though I'm a product of divorced parents, um, I grew up more so with my mom's side. So that's who I was close to growing up, cousins I was close to growing up, like siblings. And I didn't become close to my father's side of family until I was like older teenager, early 20s, like grown. And now the dynamic is that my paternal side, I'm like this with my cousins. When I tell you we are like drama free when we get together, we know what we've been through. We have things we relate to. All they're about is positivity, uplifting each other. What can you add to me? What can I add to you? Let's just live and let live and enjoy this thing called life. Now it's the dynamic change on my maternal side of the family is so like dysfunctional, awkward, uncomfortable, and drama filled. It is a struggle to be around. And my grandfather, my late grandfather, was very big on family, 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 keep the family together. And so my aunts and my mom. They don't understand me sometimes. I am a creature of peace. Maybe it's the Libra in me, whatever it is. I like peace. I don't like mess. And my energy and vibes don't work well in uncomfortable settings. I can't sit and like phony kick it with cousins and family members who don't fuck with me, who I don't fool with, like... And I, to this day, couldn't even tell you why we may not get along or don't vibe like that. It just, like, it's underlying tension. It's so thick at times. And I want to don't, I can't do it. And so, <laughs> it's a struggle for me to go to, like, functions on the maternal side. Now, it was easy for me to go by there today to spend time with my grandma because, again, that's my second mom. Like, it's her birthday. I want to kick it with her. We crack each other up. And I am also not just a creature of peace. I am a creature of timeliness. And my family is notoriously late to everything. When I tell you late, I mean late. And that's another, like, I work, like, for three three companies sometimes. I may work two jobs uh, in a day. So if you tell me something's going to start at a certain time, I'm typically there 10 minutes early. That's just me. I feel like time is money. 
time is of the essence is so valuable to me and i ain't never been one to work off cp time i don't like it i think it's disrespectful and inconsiderate when you can never be on time for anything cake and stuff was supposed to be cut at 6 30 for my grandma family I have been there since five because I knew once I got off work, if I go home, I ain't getting out the house. I ain't coming back out. So I said, let me go straight over to her house and just kick it until 630 when everybody gets there. We cut cake. Boom, boom, boom. Baby, <laughs> 630, come and go. Ain't nobody there. Um, At that point, like... I stand firm on my stuff. I used to let a lot of things slide. I stand firm now. I let my aunt who was there know, look here, baby, at 7 o'clock, I'm finna get on up out of here. Because I've been over here. I've spent time, you know. I've done what all I can do with waiting. I just don't think it's fair. I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I can't sit around and play and kiki on no damn work work day because everybody's always late to everything so then she played then i get guilt trips put on me well no stay around a couple more minutes and da, da, da. no <laughs> i don't have to that's the thing that they just don't get with me that irks them so bad like i walk to the beat of my own drum and my drum works for me i like that beat it works for me um, being late to everything consistently is a problem. And I really feel like it's disrespect to anybody and everybody's time. I don't have a clock tattooed on my leg <laughs> for no reason. Time is valuable. And I left, I hugged and squeezed on my grandma and she... She knew, like, I don't have to sit and kiki with everybody for my grandma to know how much I love her. That's the part they don't understand or get. I don't have to sit in the same room and be uncomfortable and dysfunction to show my love for my grandmother. And the minute I feel like people learn that just because we are related don't mean I have to absolutely love everything you do and be around everything you got going on that ain't that is so unrealistic i just can't tell you what it is unrealistic and um so yeah i feel like at this point i got some family members that's upset with me and then i, I you know, it's just a lot you know I was halfway on my way to sleep. My mom called me. And, Mommy, I love you because I know you watch. But, like, I feel like she just snapped at me for no reason. Um, And that's mom, moms and daughters. It's a special relationship. But I'm just like, when do I ever get to just be like, fuck it all? I never get a chance to be mad. I am always positive, uplifting, happy-go-lucky. But the minute that I have a feeling of shit ain't fair and I, the minute I want to, like, feel sorry for myself, if you will, or the minute I want to be mad and irritated, like, the world stop to people. I have a right to dislike things. <sighs> I'm just venting. I'm venting family. This thing called life is not easy. It is not easy. My grandpa, God bless him for the 93 years he had on this earth. But <laughs> he would have been sad by a lot of the behaviors and things like that that go on. Um... That's it, cause it's not. It's nine and a half minutes already of me venting. I did watch Queen's Court. Excuse me, the Queen Supreme Court. Um, I think I'm gonna do a video tomorrow 
telling how I feel about it. Maybe on my way to work. <laughs> I love y'all, okay? Do great things for yourself and for others. Good night.